Hello Wastelanders, Wanderer here. Welcome back to Fallout 76. We're just on our way back to inform Rose. We're about to talk to her because I guess she has some kind of reward for us after we so nicely installed her tech for her at the um, emergency broadcast type area. So we're going to be doing that. Gotta clean up some scorched around here first though. I'm going to have to probably craft some more ammo here pretty quickly, but that's okay. Uh, off screen, I did go over and fix my camp. There's no longer a giant tree going through it. And in addition, I uh, powered up my water purifier. So I'll have to go back here, back there after episode and get those. Um, it does seem like the lead scrap, because I forgot to get the lead scrap after. The hell are you? I forgot to get the lead scrap that I had uh, in the lead extractor that I have in my camp uh, after last episode. But uh, thankfully... Thankfully, um, I was able to get some of that anyway. It didn't really matter. Really would like to get all of you guys eliminated. You're very annoying. They got all their stuff. They're all dead. Good to go. Okay. Funny enough, this is a spot where you can get a whole bunch of fuel if you know how. Um, if you have the, d d the disarm thing. God, I can't talk today. If you have the disarm perk for these, which uh, requires the home... I forget. I think it's the home defenses perk or something. Um, if you spam your E button really, 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 really hard, you can make them disarm multiple times before the server realizes that you've done it, and you'll get the materials for all of them. They'll, they'll all go through. It's really, really strange. There's no kind of check on that to make sure it can't happen more than once. And when I say it, it's crazy, I'm talking like you can get thousands of flamer fuel from it. By doing that, little exploit there you can do. Don't encourage it, but uh, yeah, it's it's still not fixed. By the way, pretty easy experience too, because especially at low levels, because you get experience every time you disarm them. So when you mass disarm them like that, uh, it adds up pretty quick. Probably one of the faster ways to level up, actually, which is pretty funny. But I mean, you gotta do this stuff anyway to go through the quest. So like, I don't know, you might as well. You might as well just go through the game and play it, you know, normally. It's my opinion anyway, if you're gonna do that. If you want, if you have the urge to do that, like, I just don't think there's a point, you might as well just play the game as normal. Yeah, we're gonna have to make some more 50 cal ammo or start using the Gatling laser or something else. Um, cause yeah. Just about out. Okay, let's go and see Rose. She is over this way. Did some uh, building on my camp, got my water purifiers up and running, and uh, that should be nice. I actually use most of my purified water to craft chems, or rather, to craft uh, diluted chems. So that'll be good. We can uh, make a lot of make our chems go a lot further. Make our stim packs in general also go a lot further. Well, I guess not chems, but yeah, just stim packs and right away will go a lot further if we have them diluted because we get to double the amount of them. Like they heal less each, but we're multiplying them times four, so it's it comes out to be a net gain. Okay, so I'm trying to say and failing. I wonder if there's anything left I can do on the, um, the 
308 uh, hunting rifle. Kind of doubt it. Do you have? Yeah, you have another alpha code piece. That's cool. Let's swap over to this for now, I guess, because, um... Oh, hello. Hello, Stimpak. There we go. Bit of lag there. Trading post down here, eh? Feels like a trap, man. Oh no, there's actually a trading you post. You should take up the raiding life. Take what you want. Kill people that deserve it. Radium rifles. I haven't used these yet. This isn't bad. It's decent damage for, uh... Yeah, it's not bad. Decent damage for that, and it's decent fire rate. Okay. For being 45 cal base, not bad at all. I don't need any of this stuff. Um, they have a lot of whiskey. That's good to know. They have a lot of whiskey here if you need any. Anything I can sell here? No, I have nothing to sell. Uh, anything I want here? Ooh! You actually sell the 50 cal machine gun here. Good to know. Okay, I don't have enough for that. But, uh, yeah, if I want to buy them and then, and then I can craft and scrap them until I get the plans for everything on them, that'd be great. Okay, good to know, good to know. Um... You get plans for the deep-pocketed stuff on several of the nicer uh, armor sets, too, which is good. Some flamer stuff, too. Gatling laser stuff, which I might take you up on some of these. I'm not sure. That adds burning damage. I don't think those are, those are really that good. Um, I think I'd probably just want, like, the true... True sight or whatever. This is not bad either. I think I already have it though. Grenade launcher, also nice, but not it's not the automatic grenade launcher, so I don't care as much about it. Here's some of the uh, missile launcher stuff. Targeting computer. Oh, this is really good. Targeting computer. Um I hate to spend caps, but like this is only a hundred it's only 120 I feel like that's well worth it and then uh, what else do you have tri barrel you can get a quad barrel on it too oh yeah it's right here 600 caps huh hmm for really tough fights it might be worth having the missile launch a couple missiles and a, a quad barrel so I can just launch I can lock on launch like four of them right away it's gonna be a lot of damage yeah, you know what? I know it's a lot of caps, I'm saving up for other stuff, like the machine gun, but you know, it's a, it's a pretty good thing to have. I kind of want that. Bunch of raider stuff here for the, this is all raider power armor stuff. Do you have, um, uh, probably have calibrated, do you have calibrated? Yeah, you have calibrated shocks. Nice. Oh, 7,200 caps, though. Yeah, that's expensive stuff. Yeah, they, they know what you want. They You want carry rate, carry weight and jet packs. They know what we want, and they're going to charge us for it. Okay. I see. All right. Well, it's good to know that, that stuff is here. Don't know when I'll actually make use of a lot of that, but, you know, it's here. Right, so we were going to go talk to Rose, then we kept getting sidetracked. Let's uh, go ahead and do that, have a conversation with her. And see what she wants from us now, and what she's going to give us as a reward for what we did. Other side, here we go. Okay, dead bodies all around here. Lots of frag grenades and gunpowder, all right.
So there she is. Huh. Well, this is a little awkward. Not what either one of us expected, eh? Anyway, to prove I'm not a monster, I scrounged up some old junk to give you as a reward. Well, caps are always nice, I guess. What did we get? Okay, a guitar sword, alright. Thanks, I guess. Flavors of Mayhem. She wants me to try out Raider Tactics so she can gauge their effectiveness. Still hanging around, huh? Alright, spit it out. I may have all day, but you're the one with a job to do. Uh, your plan works. The Raiders are back. Like there was any doubt. I knew it wouldn't be long once I got the signal boosted. Uh, I have to get in touch with them. Ooh, I thought you might notice them. That group you're talking about is run by this gal named Meg. I saw him head in about the same time as those other folks at Spruce Knob. If you want to talk to Meg, you gotta get on her good side. And I'm pretty sure I can swing it. So, who are these people over at the Spruce Knob? Just a couple of hard-working losers. You know, the kind we like to refer to as suckers. They're giving Spruce Knob a real makeover, too. Putting up walls, rearranging furniture. That's a prime target, if you ask me. And what do you know about Meg? Meg thinks she's pretty tough since she ran off on Margie. She wasn't even around to see the end of it all. Bet she's loving the fact that they belled at the perfect time. So she's bound to be way up on her high horse right about now. Alright, uh, what's your plan? I thought you'd never ask. First, a peace offering. David had a trophy as a symbol of his leadership. You get that into Meg's hands, it's like passing the torch, right? Next, I'm gonna draw her ass out here with an extra special broadcast. Problem is, I need to access some old memory banks that David sealed off. He was an emotional guy. I get it. But I need you to find his original program. Which, I'm pretty sure he stashed at Rosalind's memorial. Um, David? Emotional? Surprised? Sure, he may have killed and maimed a few people, but that doesn't mean he ain't got feelings. I'm pretty sure that's how this whole memorial thing came about. So what's the trophy? Eh, just some old thing Rosalind made for David when they made him leader. You know, sappy romantic stuff. Ever since then, it's been like his own symbol of power. And where the, is this memorial, um, at? Yeah, about that. David sort of didn't want anyone to know about the memorial. He thought the others would think he'd gone soft. And, well, he probably wasn't wrong. So, hope you like playing detective. You gotta get to David's room, get the trophy, and then find something that'll tell you where that memorial is. I ain't saying you'll have to trash the place, but you may have to trash the place. Easy peasy, right? Doesn't really sound easy peasy. Uh, easy peasy. Are you gonna join Meg and the others? Nah, not high up on my list of things to do. I'm just here to keep them coming. Besides, I'm cutthroat for life, and I got my little buddy here to keep me company. Really, after calling the Raiders back, you don't want to lead them? Lead? <laughs> no way! Just thinking about that responsibility makes me twitch. I got the band back together to watch, not to manage the tour. Plus, now that they're pouring in, you can bet Appalachia just got a whole lot more entertaining. And I got the best seat in the house. Maybe they'd come here and work with you? Doubtful. Meg's 
probably keen on carving out her own territory, and the crater does look pretty sweet. Minus all that powdery white crap. Eh, this'll always be cutthroat territory to her anyway, and no one wants a hand-me-down. Okay, I guess we'll get to work then. <sighs> Back to business, just how I like it. Ready to hop on that trophy and AI program? Sure. Ha! I knew I could count on you! And I swear, this will work. The shack alone will have Meg come looking around. Okay, I have to talk to Rose again, I think. Oh, hey, uh, I have something to say to you. Now, what was it? Uh, ah, right. So, wanna help me out again? Tell me more about these old raiders, the dead ones I see everywhere. My kind of people! We were hardcore! The originals! Not these wannabes and losers who refused to join up with me. We split into five gangs. Cutthroats, Trappers, Diehards, Blackwater Bandits, and the Gourmands. Each one was special in their own way. Except for the Diehards. They were a bunch of boring losers. Oh, did you want to elaborate? Why, uh, why should I help you? You almost backstabbed me. Yeah, you almost killed me. You were planning to kill me, but then I succeeded, so you felt bad. Almost. I almost backstabbed you, but clearly I didn't or you'd be dead. Point is, you're alive and stronger for it because of me. Did I even get a thank you for that? No. You are one uh, delightfully murderous robot. I'm a robot? Oh wait, I knew that. Anyway, you say the sweetest things. Plus, you got that whole one-person army thing going for you. That's true, I do. Okay, how can I help out? So, the old bands of raiders each have their own, like, pet projects or whatever. You know, to be all special. If I'm ever going to rebuild a raider army, I need to figure out which of these crazy tactics actually work. We both win. I get answers, and you get a new toolbox full of scary things you can use to terrify your enemies and gross out your friends. You know there's already a raider army around, right, in Crater? Are you seriously calling Meg's bunch of losers an army? <laughs> Believe. Those blood eagles, maybe, but they're not my type. Yeah, not much of mine types, my type either. I kind of don't believe any of your crap, Rose. Ho 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 ho! Standing up to me! Guess you do have a spine after all. You don't have to believe me to learn from me. I'm offering to help you find new and crazy ways to mess people up. And then, when you get what you want, we part ways. Work for ya. Okay. What are the tactics? We'll start with my personal favorite. Karma. No, not that new age bullshit. I'm talking about a chem that hits hard but leaves you reeling. My cutthroat friends figured out a way to weaponize it. I'm going to lend you my old syringer, and you're going to modify it to shoot carbon darts! <laughs> Just bring it back, or I'll find you and kill you! <laughs> Seriously. Not joking. I really will. Okie dokie. Have to add a karma mod to Rose's syringer. Can I do that here? Probably not. Maybe I can over in the mezzanine level? Hmm. I'm assuming I need a uh, weapon workbench for that. Up here. I can see just about anything with my robot eyes and these viewfinders. And lucky you, since you helped me tap into the emergency broadcast system, you can hear my lovely voice. Jesus. <laughs> Stimpak.
That kind of hurt. Okay, yes, here we go. We can add it here. That's good. Is it safe? I just heard a footstep. I kind of doubt it. Let's clear out first, I'd say. The hell was that? Suicider? The Scorch have Suiciders too now? That's not fun. I guess he missed me because didn't do any damage, but still. Could be a lot of useful junk in here too. bad thing about the uh, Gatling laser is to spin up on it. It's kind of annoying. But I would certainly say that our power armor and everything plus the uh, heavy weapons have made us quite the formidable foe now. War Drum is a new melee weapon, too. But like I said, I'm not too much for melee weapons, even though I am a max strength character. Let's go back here and find that uh, workbench again. And I'm probably going to pause for a second because my AC turned on. Guess it's getting hot outside. Okay guys, we are back and we're good to go. Let's get out of here and uh, I guess we can go and get David's trophy or at least start that quest and then we'll keep going from there. The trophy is just up to the north at a uh, raider type camp. Look at that, it's one of my uh, photos from what I took whenever I was over on the hill the other day. Doesn't look that good here. I have to do some color correction on it if I want to use it for a thumbnail. All right, so yeah, up here, we're gonna get this. Come on, let me, please. Can I mark it? Can I toggle it active? There we go. Yep, let's just roll up on over here. Uh, this might be, I doubt it's bloody goals. It should be scorched, I would think. That one was just for fun, I'm not gonna lie. That one was just for fun. The thing with the with the Gatling laser, I think, and any Gatling-type weapon is that 
for like regular use. It just it's just not enough enemies, you know. It has to be like at a big event or something where you can really unload. That's when they shine. But for this kind of stuff, you know, huh? I can't I can't loot that. All right. This kind of stuff, you know. Um, there's a trap there too. I didn't trigger somehow. It just doesn't lend itself as well to the uh, small encounters, you know. By the time it spins up, they're dead. You don't want to waste ammo. These are uh, targets, say. Eh? That one guy wanted the targets. I doubt this is where he wants to go for them. That'd be kind of absurd if we had to go all the way up here for them. All right, let's keep going. Got here, trapper arms. Okay, I'll take it. Is also not what we're supposed well, no, it is where we're supposed to go. There's it's up there. A golden fork. Wow, such luxury. Silver's bad enough, but I have to eat off a of gold, man. Gerald Fitzsimmons holotape. It's been barely a Geraldine. Week since the bombs fell, and supplies have become scarce. The former guests at the resort are exploring the feasibility of sending out scavenging groups to hunt down whatever they can find. What's starting to dawn on us is that there will be people outside the resort sending groups of their own. Who knows if they'll be friendly or simply take what they want. Instead of waiting to find out, we've concluded that our goods should be locked up for safekeeping. It's a smart move and one that will keep our belongings protected until the government rescue teams arrive. It's good to know that there's still some rationality left amongst all this chaos. So, um, in that case, if they're locked up, then where are they locked up? There's David's trophy. That would be the question. Search for clues, okay. I don't have eight perceptions, so... Found a taped photo. What is it? Um, this is under notes. Photo, here we go. Remember our anniversary? I stole that huge stash of chems and you found that secluded spot across from Ripper Alley. We spent that entire night under the stars. I ne I've never seen you happier. Rest in peace, dear Rosalind, wherever you may be. Okay. So go to Ripper Alley, I guess? Maybe? You got David's trophy? Pretty cool, right? Once Meg sees that, she's gonna know you mean business. She may have been a diehard, but they all started under David. Every single one of them. Even the gourmands would have killed for that trophy. Us cutthroats had all the power and they knew it. And that trophy is the biggest symbol of them all. Nice to see it still in one piece. Hope we can say the same for Rosalind's memorial in that AI program. Okay, so next we go and get the... We gotta do the, the Yao Guai, shoot him with a syringer. Um, that's a, oh, okay, I, I can do any of those, but that's the closest one. AI program's over here. Okay, so... Huh, it's a bit of a trek, isn't it? 
Well, I guess we'll go and do the Yao Guai over here. And I guess we'll see what we see on the way. It's going to be a bit of a, bit of a trek here, guys. I'm going to actually unmark the uh, Yao Guai thing, because otherwise it's going to be on my my map everywhere and be really annoying. I just want to follow the uh, the beacon over here. It's a tough choice because. Um, the, the two factions, the Raiders and the Settlers, we're going to be running into soon over at Bruce Knob. They're, um... The Settlers are better people. But the Raiders give better rewards, in my opinion, so... Yeah, it's hard to choose. Hard to choose. I guess I'll kind of beeline for this. There's a nice big lake. I could sail down over there. Put some big water purifiers there. It's not far away either. What? There we go. That rad stag wasn't happy with me. I don't know where this one went. Oh well. These uh, watchtowers are quite useful too. You can go up inside of them and use your binoculars and um, look around and it'll, it'll give you nearby landmarks to check out which is quite helpful you can find new places to explore and check out for salvage gotta go back to my base at some point too and see how much lead scrap I have I need to keep on top of that I guess I could technically just put down my survival tent and fast travel to my camp unload my Lead scrap and then come back, but you got a real nice score. One more over here somewhere. The hell did they go? I mean, I'd run away too. Guy charges in with a uh, Gatling laser, you know. He's up top, isn't he? Gonna make me come all the way up there, are you? Oh crap, I fell down again. God, I suck at stairs. I'm gonna blame it on my wrist braces, guys. Okay, I thought maybe jumping off was a bit extreme there, but uh. Turns out it wasn't. That was quite a bit. Quite a bit of boom boom there. This dickhead trying to trap me in there. I saw this and I was like, okay, no problem, I'll disarm it, but then a mine went off too. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck, I'm out of ammo, really? Dude. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, then.
That was a lot. Only I gotta do all these but one by one. The nerve of that. Okay, um, yeah, here we go. Survey area, activate. So yeah, now we got a whole bunch of areas that are marked around here that we can check out. So, pretty cool, huh? <coughs> now let's uh, look around here and make sure we get all the corpses. Pretty sure I didn't. Maybe I did, I don't know. Nope, don't do that. Don't reload. That's... I hate doing that. Actually reloading. When you have a... Partial charge fusion core and you end up with a ton of partial charge fusion cores. That's, that's no fun. Nobody likes that. Nobody likes that. I get some food and stuff here too. I'll just have one of everything. Nice view up here though. Alright, here we go. We're almost there. It's, uh, the bear anyway is right over by said Alpha, but I have to wait until it's... the karma wears off, so... Did she give me any syringe or ammo? Because if not, it's gonna kind of suck. She did. Okay, good. That's good. So shoot the bear, wait till it's not mad anymore and it's weak, and then kill it. Level up. Alright, uh, been doing luck. We maxed out the one gun army. I don't know if I want to do any more luck though. I can't get what I want there yet. Probably gonna go with a strength perk, but I do need one more awareness or one more perception eventually. Could pick up Master Pick Lock, but it's not that big of a deal, really. I kind of want to max out my Heavy Gunner. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Good, max that out. Can pick a lot more. Yeah, yeah, it should be good. And then uh, Pick Lock and I guess Rifleman, if we have it for free, so might as well. This has four unused points uh, because of what? Probably because okay, oh, I had chemist in. Okay, hold on. Oh, and this has extra stuff that I I don't have sneak on either. No wonder stuff's detecting me so easy. Didn't have sneak on there. I was crafting. I forgot about this stuff. Okay, so what do I want? Probably gunsmith, so my stuff doesn't break as fast. Yeah, it's probably fine. Okay, right. Let's go and find the damn bear. There is always a bear outside of every of the, uh, or at least out of one of the, the nuke sites I always go to. I do remember that. There's always a bear there.
Yeah, the reason I hate this quest is because, uh, I mean, I could just go and kill the bear, you know? It would be a lot more sensible. Did the Scorch kill the bear? Oh, there he is. Yep. I think the bear is going to win, to be honest. Okay, we got him. Where'd it go? Oh, it's down here. Maybe? Oh yeah, it's here. Okay. Okay. Got it. It's here. Word to the wise, that karma stuff can backfire on you if you're not careful. And take it from me. Asserting jurisdiction over the nukes would have gone over well. But this also means I'm locked out. Access is restricted to the highest ranking officers. It's not going to be easy to fool. If we can't secure these sites, my God. The automated factory in the silo? Just how many nukes can we make? Okay, so we need to let me go ahead and track this other quest too. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, here we go. Craft explosive bait and a tinker's workbench. Fly materials to craft explosive bait. All right. I'm assuming we'll probably have the materials. I hope. I'm just gonna head. Well, hold on. I guess I'll go ahead and. Um, eh, I don't really want to go all the way over here and then have to run back here. Or go all the way over here. I guess I can move my survival tent over here for a fast roll point, although it's kinda. It's kinda. I don't know. Not sure how people feel about it, basically. Just run down here for now. Find a tinkerer's workbench. We'll go ahead and make it... Hello? Oh, just some flowers exploded on me, I guess. If I find a, a tinkerer's workbench somewhere around here, then we'll use it. There may have been one over at the uh, Scorched Place. The, uh, the radio tower place. Do a quick look through here and see if there's one around here real quick. Shouldn't take too long. It is a weapons workbench. We can scrap stuff here. It's kind of nice. No, don't do that. Why are we at zero? I don't understand. We didn't use that much. I don't think we use that much. Your brain. 
Bane. Ow, ow. Use a stim pack, yo. Okay. Uh never mind, let's let's not look for a tinker's workbench there. That kinda hurt. I'm going to feast on your flesh, human. Okay, I think we're good now? Yeah, we're good now. Okay. That was scary. I knew they were there, but I didn't expect that guy to hit literally every shot of his automatic rifle. Did quite a bit of damage. Okay, let's see here. We got a lot of these things to scrap here. I want to keep one of these hunting rifles because... Actually, scrap that too, I think. Because, uh, well, I guess we'll keep that one. It's a higher level one. I'll craft a nicer one once I have an excess of screws laying around, you know? More invaders overhead, looks like. Still probably not going to do that. I mean, just super mutants are hard enough, but those aliens, they pack a punch. They're pretty difficult to take down. If I had better armor, maybe I'd think about it. Or just more damage reduction from something. Just saw something over here. Oh, this is, uh, this is West Tech. Alright, well, we're not gonna have really time for West Tech today. I don't think it's gonna be a bit much for us. How did that miss? Okay, good, he's dead. Oh, Raider Power Armor Leg. Okay. I forgot they made Legendary Power Armor in this, too. Spineless human. Really? You stuck over there? That's kind of funny. He's stuck in there, can't really hit me. What? Oh, he's, he teleported back there. little human. Okay. Gatling laser is uh, earning its keep, I'll say that. Alright, we're making some caps, we're getting scrap and stuff, that's good. Lots of experience with these guys too. Easy to hit, 
This is West Tech, guys. It, there's a lot of cool lore here and story, but um, we're probably not going to have time for it today. So I don't think I'll be going in there today, but maybe next episode I'll just dedicate the whole episode to it. Cause it's going to take me a while to go through all that stuff. I, I would assume anyway. Or a couple more of these guys around the back. There's something that's just fun about the uh, Gatling laser, though, isn't there? I mean, come on. I just find the whole sniper play style be a bit boring. Oh my god, that turret. Holy shit. I had not expected that high had damage from that turret. We're going to take a different tactic here. There he is. That turret was kind of insane. It did crazy damage. Okay. That was, yeah, that was rough. Okay, guys. Well, we're, we're done with that, at least, so... At least, at least that's over. Um, so the thing is all the way up there. Uh, how do I go around? How do I get up there? I think we have to go around this way. Yes, yeah, is the best way. I might do a cut here, guys, because also my AC is running, so I might do a cut here and just, uh... I'll see you once we're over there. It's going to be a bit of a walk. Unless I run into trouble along the way, then I'll show that, obviously. Okay, guys, here we are. Oh, hello. Poor foxes. They didn't do anything wrong. Pretty cool looking, actually. Ooh, so that's where he's been hiding it. And that memorial ain't too shabby, especially since it's David we're talking about here. So now you'll have to repair that hollow tape, and there's only one place I can think of that still have a functioning terminal to do it. It's out at Solomon's Pond. I know, I know, you're thinking, what's tech like that doing out at such a cutesy little wilderness place? Let's just say some seriously intrusive operations went down there, so I'm pretty sure it's got just what we need. Okay, well guys, I think I'm probably going to wrap this one up here, so we have to go um, and get the AI program repaired, and uh, also have to go and do the other quest, um, 
But yeah, I think we'll wrap this one up here, and uh, we'll do that next time. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you then.